Tasmanian Sun Erecta. It's a nationally endangered wildflower. It grows about 30 centimetres high when it's flowering. It's uh, characteristic purple pea flowers. You'd be looking for it from about around mid-September mid to mid-October. It'll have um, spikes of purple pea flowers. That's the most distinctive thing with fine pinnate leaves. The small purple pea has been listed nationally as, as endangered for um, a couple of decades and certainly warrants that. It's a highly sensitive and, and a species that's declined hugely over its range and in numbers over time. Tsmoen Sona erecta historically has been recorded from basically the uh, eastern side of the wheat belt, characteristically in, in grassy um, woodlands. It's now completely extinct, presumed extinct in Victoria, it disappeared from all those sites, disappeared from Wagga and uh, as far as we know the Trangi, Galaganbone area. So its now stronghold is around between Wellington and Mudgee and then um, around Canberra and to the south of Queanbeyan. Central West Local Land Services have been funded by the NLP2 program to look at ways of uh, encouraging uh, landholders and community groups to understand what the Purple Pea is with lots of capacity building events, awareness raising events so that people can come and actually have a look at the plant itself. A project to, to try and bring back one of the many species that are really on the brink in Australia's landscape at the moment. It's surviving in, I guess, some of our best remnant uh, native vegetation, best samples of what was here pre-European settlement. So it's kind of a flagship species in saying th these are sites that are probably closest to pre-European condition that we can find. Um, so and not only are you saving the small purple pea, but you're saving that whole plant community, that whole diversity of native wildflowers that grows with it. So it's a whole ecosystem we're really protecting in a, in a way. When you protect that individual species, we're protecting everything that, what else that grows with it, and obviously as well as all the fauna that grow on, live on those sites.